Okay, so welcome back to Base Squared. We're gonna do a video on quadratic functions. Okay, guys, we're about to get started. How are you feeling on what we're doing? I'm excited for tennis ball and see the parabolic curve. Ah, that's great. What's up, Beardos? I'm with Momo. How, how are we doing, Beardos? Tried taping the two sticks together, but it didn't work. Okay. So, plan B. Uh, we're gonna blue tack the sticks to the wall. Right, see? I guess. see? See? I just wrote from there. Yeah. How do you feel this throw will go? Do you think the first one will be successful or? I think it will be very successful. Okay, so before we see the, the throw, let's look at some examples. This is what we've done in class. So we've done a slow-mo of a tennis ball uh, in motion. And then the ones that we've done on uh, outside, um, here's an example of parabolic curve. Let's look at another one. So here's one more. I'm saying that I want it to cut through the x-axis. So here we go. Here's a, a ball in motion. And then we get to see another one here. This is really good. In fact, they're all good examples of parabolic curves, but we'll take this one as our final one so we can do the quadratic regression here. So let's zoom in and then let's overlay a grid on top of this with X and Y axis. Uh, and we're gonna use this uh, parabolic curve to uh, find the quadratic regression. So now that we've seen many examples of parabolic curves, what we'll do is we'll find the quadratic function. In order to do that, we'll go back to the video. So we'll take a look at the motion of this tennis ball as it's thrown through the air. And what we'll do is we'll take some coordinates, some points from this parabolic curve. So actually, if we start off here, the ball cuts through the origin at 0, 0. So we'll mark that as one of the points at 0, 0. And then if we follow the motion of the ball, it goes up and then it comes back down. And then it cuts through um, the x-axis again at this point here. So... I reckon if you look close enough that that's about, it was not 65, it's going to be, I think it's about 64, 0. So we'll mark that point there at 64, 0. And then what we want to look at is perhaps the vertex, which is the highest point that the ball travels. And I think, I think the highest point that the ball travels is probably about here, which if we look down to the x-axis is probably about 32, roughly speaking, about 32. And then that goes to the y-axis, I think it's about 20. So it cuts um, the x-axis about 32 and the y-axis about 20. So that would be our third point. And then um, as we're looking through the motion, uh, we can perhaps take this point here. I think the ball crosses right, where is it? Uh, here we go. So I think the ball crosses about 10, 10. So the x-axis is about 10. And the y-axis, the value there is about 10 as well. So that's about 10, 10. And then we need one final point um, just so that we can do our quadratic regression. And if we look here, I think I think that's a good point about there. Because you can see it's about, on the x-axis, is about 60. And on the y-axis, it's about 5, isn't it? So we'll take those uh, five points. Now, what we'll do with these points is try to find out the quadratic regression. Okay, so on the GDC, what we want to do is we want to go to the stat mode. So I'm going to press stat. And then I want to edit my lists. So let's go into edit. And in list one, I'm going to do all the X values. And in list two, I'm going to do the Y values. For list one, the X values, uh, we started off with 0, 0, which was the origin. So let's enter 0. Then we had a point that was 10, 10. So we'll put in 10, enter. Then we had a, a third point, which was 32, 20. So we'll do 32. And then we had, I think, 60 and 5. So we'll do 60. And then finally, we had 64. And that was when it crossed the X axis. So for the Y values, we had 0, 0. So we can add the 0 there. It was 10, 10. So that was good. And then 32 was with 20. Uh, 60 was, I think, 5. And then 64 was at 0. So now that list one and list two are complete, what you want to do is find the quadratic regression. Now we know it's quadratic because the curve is parabolic. So what we want to do is we'll go back to stat and we want to go to calc, we want to calculate, and we want to calculate number five, which is quadratic regression. So let's click on enter. Um, X list was L1, Y list is L2. So store regression equation, what we want to do is we want to press on vars and then go to y vars and then function and then function one. So we're going to store that equation, the regression equation in uh, function one, y one. So let's go to calculate. 
So here we go, we have our a, b and c in the standard quadratic notation, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So they're the points there. We can make a note of that to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to go to graph, okay? Because I want to graph that quadratic function. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go to second and then stat plot. And I want to make sure that this is on. And so now what we can do is if we go to graph, so here's the thing, you need to make sure that the window is appropriate to your question. So let's go to window. So since we know that the motion of the tennis ball went through the origin zero, zero, we just do this at negative one. So we can see that it crosses the origin. The maximum, x maximum, we just do at 70. X intercept was at 64, wasn't it? So we'll do ours at 70. And then we'll go up intervals of five. And then the y minimum, we don't need uh, anything less than negative one. Maximum, y maximum, it only reached uh, a maximum of 20. So let's just do 22 and let's go up in twos. Okay, so let's graph that now. So here we can see the five points that we put in for our quadratic regression. We can see that they sit on the quadratic function quite well. And this is our parabolic curve. Now the equation, let's go and see the equation of this graph. Here we go, we can see the equation. Well, we don't need it that long to be honest. Let's just abbreviate it to two decimal places. So negative 0.02x squared plus 1.45x, and then our constant term was negative 0.21. So that is the quadratic regression or the quadratic function for this particular equation here. Fantastic, isn't it? So I hope you found that super helpful and it's really interesting because it's primary data. We've gone out and recorded the motion of the tennis board ourselves. Uh, we've collected some points and then we've calculated the quadratic regression. Uh, so it'll be super interesting to see if you guys do it yourself and uh, attach it in. If you do, then attach it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't, then subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.